being poor is having to tell your child no all the time. No, you can't have a friend over. Why do I have to say no? Because having a friend spend the night is another mouth to feed. Fear is constant. You're always afraid of what's next. I'm afraid of opening my bills to find new late fees. I'm afraid of losing utilities. I'm afraid of being evicted because we can't afford our rent. <clears throat> having no money for extra things is heartbreaking <laughs> as a parent. I want to tell them yes. I don't want to say, I'm sorry, we don't have any more apples until payday or any more chips or popsicles. I can only be at the shelter for a few more weeks and I don't know where to go. I feel sad. I feel sad that somebody would uh, can't afford to buy the simplest things for their child. It's just, it's just heartbreaking. That's what hurt me the most, I think, is that, that extra mouth to feed. I mean, that was kind of, that hurt me. <laughs> Please tell me this isn't in my community, um, which, I, I mean, obviously I don't want that happening to anyone anywhere in our world, but um, it's hard to believe that that could be someone who's nearby. It's very evident that we have a problem with poverty. Um, and a lot of people don't see it or don't want to see it, but it's there. You go through life every day not worrying about some of the simple things and to have an understanding of how much it's affecting our community, it does make you stop and think about it. You want to just go out and donate as much as you can right now. <laughs> I was really, um, uh, really um, emotionally moved when I saw the first version of the letters video. It, it surprised me how much that hit me. Um, the letters that we read in that are real. Those are real stories from real people who are struggling to get, to get ahead. We'd like people to understand that poverty is a big word, right? And there's people in deep poverty who really, really struggle to get anything done. But there's also a whole lot of folks who are living above the poverty threshold, but they're still not making enough to get by. And that's a population we refer to as ALICE, Asset Limited, Income Constrained, Employed. We're just so concerned that with so many people, over 42% in the ALICE category, it's actually just getting harder and harder for each one to get by. If everyone who has the potential to give realizes that they can give just a little, then the United Way magic works. Because when everyone gives a little, that adds up to a lot and we can do some great things. It starts by taking the initiative to reach out. It takes it takes guts and it takes time to go down to a shelter and help out. It takes time to raise money and it takes the motivation to give to someone that needs to be given to. Um, I want to, like I said, bring the community together. So all the schools to so get together, do maybe a big food drive or things like that to, not just for one school, not a school competition, it's for the community of Jackson as a whole. I think that would really go a long way and sort of bring the community together. I think that I will, help people. I will continue to, to do what I do, but I think I'll supersize it more and, you know, reach out into some of the other areas like the pay it for it over here and experiment with that and just keep on sharing and then pass that on to my children as well. Thank you for helping me feed my family. Thank you for mentoring my child. Thank you for helping me find a job. Thank you for caring about me. Thank you for helping me get healthy. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.